hi all we're doing the letter C this week so this is for my older children we just do I show them the front and the back and then we do I pull out the flash cards so C it's a little difficult for them because they have to get that it has two sounds the K like the K sound and the S sound. So we go over these two things. I like to pull out different cards and different visuals for the older ones to see. So they see that this is like cat, cake, cookie, and there are words on the back that we go over. And that this is a different sound. C has two sounds and C likes to mask the K or the S sound. I like to say the sounds and do the uh, visual um, sign language like that for them so that they understand. We also worked on caterpillars um, this week. So this is our little friend. Let me see if we can see him in there. Our little friend is, they caught him last week. It was green, but he turned brown and I don't know if you can see it in there. He was on our rosemary plant outside. My daughter put a ribbon for him in there. So we're going to see if he comes out in the next few days. We've been going over caterpillars, different types of caterpillars. The cocoons that they make are chrysalis. So we don't know if this is a cocoon or chrysalis because I don't know if it's a caterpillar or moth. We're going to find out. This is an awesome book. Goes over in detail different types of caterpillars. We've been going over the cabbage caterpillar, the monarch butterfly, tiger swallow. These are just some of the things that it goes over that are really neat to see. The kids love this book, Caterpillars, Bugs, and Butterflies. Also, we look at these and show them these things. Caterpillar, camel, and the crab. And for the older ones, I would like for them to copy. Oh, that's our crafter. I would like for them to copy um, the word and say it with me. The younger ones, I just want them to say the sound C -c camel crab cat caterpillar and we did this the older ones um, have fun decorating in different ways but just for the younger ones to have also have something to do so we made caterpillars this is our base it's just a paper plate it's very very simple easy craft and cut out a face for them that's it my daughter hasn't done hers yet and for the younger ones, this is so cute and easy. They can make the C of the caterpillar and go munch, munch some leaves. So we have some leaves right here that they have munched. They munch on the car, car, cow, can. So these are all our hard C sounds that my older children learn and then after they learn these hard C sounds uh, I wanted to explain to them or I explained to them that that is this the hard C sound now we're doing the soft ones the soft C masks the S so I always explain that um, using sign language so that they can understand so the S is just like this for sign language and the K like that um, so caterpillar also likes to eat the soft C sounds like circle cylinder scent celery circus centipede city those are the those are some simple soft C sounds okay and we just go over those weekly um, let me see, about three times a week. So weekly they do a new sound, and those are, there's caterpillars munching away. 
So every day I go over hard, soft, and every day of this week. Usually a letter doesn't, uh, the letters don't have two different sounds unless they're a vowel. We also did, we're just doing some really simple um, tracing activities. So again, with this one, they want to trace with their finger. And then you can go over, this is kind of large for this, but you can go over with beans or beads just so they can get those fine motor skills precursors to writing. And then the older children would go over with the pencil or with any, um, any writing utensil. So this is really cool. I like the way that this book has different activities for them. So they draw the line to the lowercase one that is in um, that is with the same shape. That was really nice. Also, this is from that same book. They just color in carrot cake, cat and camel, and then they circle the ones that their favorite, something they like to eat. Um, with my younger children, I did this. This is a alphabet book, and so what we do. It wasn't asked, but I really like to do this. Mommy tells them, circle the k, k sound. So Coco is crazy about cotton candy. And then we even circle the k, k here. So they did all of that and they love to color that in. I like to do my own worksheet. So uh, they, the older children, write in the words that are all mixed up right here. They're all confused and they have to find out the correct spelling. This is again for my older child, not the younger ones. Um, and so he's gonna write this out and he just practices writing his letter C. Then um, with the older ones, I also do, um, we do coins. So they can, the younger ones, just, you know how you uh, scribble over a coin with a crayon and it pops out at you. So the younger ones did that. The older ones did uh, quarters, nickels, dimes. And I have the younger ones do something like this, where they just trace with their finger the C sound and, or, let's see, they can do, I have it right in here. This one also. So she loves tracing and drawing. And then this is little C. Little C's right there. So that's mostly it. That's what we do for the C sound. Made some crafts here. Do our everyday. We do our sounds and trace our letter. That's what we do. It's really fun. Just practice for them. We just pretend to inch along like a caterpillar. Every day I talk about what crabs do, the kitty cat and the camel, and we just do things, draw those things. And that's all we, that's all that we do for the letter C. We're gonna see if this one comes out soon. I hope it comes out within this next week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.